Hello again everyone! Welcome back to my channel and again this is Stephanie and today I'm gonna be showing you an in-depth tutorial of how I do my cut crease on my eyes so if you wanna know how to do a cut crease just keep on watching So how are you doing guys? So it's been a week since I uploaded my last video and sorry if I've been so lazy this week because I don't know home quarantine is just a time for me to sleep and sleep so I've been uh, lacking or I've been so lazy to do a video but it's okay we have our time of being lazy so I'm just like enjoying my time with my fiance just lounging around though he still has work so he still goes to work but don't worry guys he when he once he comes home he is he go straight to the shower to sanitize himself before like he can cuddle with me so yes yeah, so how's been your quarantine has been home quarantine with you so far so yeah so I just decided to make a video um, there has been a request shout out to azhxx underscore x to Azan to Azane I'll just like leave her IG because I don't know how to pronounce it but to Azan so she requested on Instagram to do an in-depth tutorial for doing a cut crease so probably this is a cut crease for hooded eyes because as you can see I have hooded Asian eyes so like it's really hard to um, where to place your shadow so here I'm gonna teach you how the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette this was gifted to me by my fiance's sister or my soon-to-be sister-in-law so she's generous to gift me this palette and it has wonderful colors right there it's so pretty okay so yeah so primer eyelids first it's very important because this is gonna cancel out all the veinings you know like the uneven colors in your eyelids and yeah just giving us like a flat canvas on our eyes there so I'm just using our regular concealer and then what you want to do is like set it with a light like a powder or anything that is closer to your skin tone so I got my color pop and I'm taking this like white matte shade and just like dusting it all over my eyelids just to set it we really do have to like practice it because practice makes perfect me for me i'm still learning on how i do my cut crease like i'm still learning like what's the best way for me to do my cut crease because as you can see we don't have like that definite uh crease line and we don't have like much of a lid space so you're just gonna try to figure out by yourself it takes practice so now what i want you to do is get a blending brush so i'll take the color blazing so i suggest if you're doing your cut crease you have to look straight in the mirror so that you will see where you can place the uh, shadow it should be above your actual crease so this is your crease right but you have folds so it's gone now so what you wanted to do is go above it so here, look straight. There, just map it out. So you're able to map it out and then spread the color. Using windshield wiper motion. Or just like in, out, in, out, like that. I suggest that you do your eyeshadow with your eyes open. So that when you open your eyes, the shadow, you can still see the eyeshadow. Okay. Now, sorry about my English. I don't have enough English with me right now. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, 
this home quarantine situation is making me like so lazy and so like lax okay wow that is so pigmented that is so pigmented so don't worry about uh being messy at first i'm gonna blend it out what's important is you map out your crease first like you're gonna make a new crease and then you drag it inwards drag it inwards i'd rather you have like a light handed or you get light handed with um applying your eyeshadow you can uh try to so this is your brush you hold your brush at the end of it like at the end so that you'll have like a light pressure blending your eyeshadow don't don't push it too hard like this lightly blend it out you just take your time with it i usually do my eyeshadow like for about half an hour i don't care i'm not in a rush but of course if i know that i'm gonna be somewhere i plan my time ahead because i want to, my eyeshadow to be snatched so there you have it so already we mapped out our crease next get another blending brush and dipped into eden then the eden is the one that's going to blend the outer edges of the blazing eyeshadow so blend the eyeshadows on the edges you can do like the circular motions like that and the only way you will know that your eyeshadow is blended if it's like it blended into your skin like you cannot see any trace of where you put the or where you apply the eyeshadow so that's the trick we're gonna blend it a bit higher Okay, so that we'll still be able to like see that shadow. Mm, you sometimes like raise your eyebrows just so you can stretch the skin. So we're almost like hitting our brows. Next we'll go to a much uh, deeper color, much deeper eyeshadow. So what you want to do is get a pencil brush, something like this, like it's rounded and tapered at the ends. We're going to concentrate the amber where you can like deeper suck it into like that. Yeah, like that. Focus it on the outer corner and concentrate it on where your eye socket is. There. Then blend it inwards. Don't worry about getting too dirty or messy. Go back to our previous transition shade, which is the blazing. Then blend out that, blend out that deeper shade. Then whatever we applied on our lids, just apply it right under the eyes. Connect it from above. Then continue on blending the colors so apply blend repeat until you reach the desired intensity now we're gonna move on to a much a deeper shade with a very tiny itty bitty brush that you can find in your collection like this one and then get the deepest darkest shade which is the oud oud i don't know what
what this means but sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong and then focus it on the outer and onto that socket focus focus that deeper shade you can also drag it downwards focus focus like you're doing that diagonal like that diagonal see that doesn't look good at first really but we're gonna learn it then go back to blending it using amber on the edges blend 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 you know that it's blended when you cannot see the harsh line or like where you apply the eyeshadow like it blends in your skin okay, now here's the trickiest part we're gonna move on with cutting our crease so you want to get your concealer and then a much sharper brush like you can use an eyebrow brush for me I'm just gonna be using this a flat brush so get that concealer and apply it onto the back of your hand and then get some just a little bit a little bit of concealer first get closer to the mirror Look straight. And then what you want to do is just place it down there and open your eyes. When you see that transfer, then that's where you're gonna start lining your eyes. Tilt your head up a little bit. Start from your inner corner and make your way through that. Or replace our concealer. And then don't try to like raise it yet. Let's map out the base first. Right guys? Slowly but surely, we're not in a rush. Because that's where things go wrong when you're in a rush, so. I suggest do it slowly but surely. We should end about, or we should end the cut crease about here. There, about there. Then you go a little bit higher from that. So when we open our eyes, you can still see where we cut the crease. Apply the uh, concealer a bit higher now. Stretch your eyes like that. Just follow the shape of your eyeball. Yeah, I think that's the best advice. Just follow the shape of your eyeball, extend it a bit on the inner corners, trace it, trace the cut crease slowly but surely, and you need a very precise brush. Dip into retrograde and use it as my lid color. Then on my innermost corner, I'm gonna pick Twilight. Let's see if it's gonna make a difference. I think I like Twilight more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so bright. See that? So bright.
Nefertiti. How's my innermost corner? There. See that, guys? There. Yep, there we have it. So I'm just gonna finish the other eye off cam. Alright guys, so I finished my eye with a wing liner and lashes of course. This lashes is from this company Glad King, but it's in the Philippines. I think you can get this from Wish or AliExpress. It's this type of lashes right here. Hope it focuses. It's just perfect for my eye shape. Like it's not too uh, there's not much volume that will just like cover my eyes and my eyeshadow. So this one is just perfect. It's flattery. Yeah, so that's it. If you want to know how I did my eyeliner, I'll just link the tutorial up in the info box. But this that's... is my finished look. Mm. Mm. And I hope you like it. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you join my giveaway, just comment down below your IG name so I know where to contact you. And please do share this video. Share this video to all of your family and friends. And I hope you stay safe and have a good one. Bye!